Hi, here's May, and this May I decided I'd draw different Genshin characters for Mermay. This is part two of me talking about this project. I'm sharing mainly things I learned anatomy-wise, as well as my process of coming up with the poses, and also designing outfits for the characters. Last week I already talked about the overall preparation for this project as well as four characters and this week I continue with this by also comparing the art I'm drawing to art I drew for Mermaid last year. Now let's start with the first character, which is Zhao. The upper body for the full body pose was too long at first and also too flat. The anatomy of the arm that was further away was especially difficult to figure out here. I also sketched in some other arm pose variations. On the day I drew this illustration I wasn't able to focus that well on the face and hair and it looked off to me at first because of this. I made a lot of adjustments to this when I came back the next day and looked at it again. Whenever I'm feeling stuck on an illustration it really helps me to move on to something else and go back to the illustration another time. I'm also not sure if the upper body seems too muscular for the young characters I drew. Overall, the way I drew the bodies for this project tended to be very similar from the more adult characters to the younger ones, which you might have already noticed if you've seen last week's video. I think I could have made the differences for younger and older characters more clear by mainly drawing the older characters more muscular and the younger ones less muscular. The body type I went with for all of them is very similar. Mainly the head to body ratio is probably what I changed for the different age groups, but I also could have been more extreme here. For the lower half body pose, the foreshortening of the arm of the right and how big the hand should be was a bit difficult to figure out. Comparing the different heads to each other made me realize that the face on the top right for the portrait pose was a lot longer than the face for the other ones. For Zhao's outfit, I went with something rather simple. I basically took a few parts like the necklace and accessoires around his arms from the in-game design and adjusted them slightly. I also added a tattoo on his stomach and just drew the tattoo on his right arm regularly. I really enjoy his color palette in-game and went with a similar purple to his pants for his fishtail. I like how it looks with his hair and eye color. I'm not that happy with how I portrayed the nose from the front in the profile pose here. I used one line with two nostrils and I prefer either two nostrils or just one line for frontal nose is what I figured out. This is just my current stylistic preference which often seems to change. How would you portray front facing noses or whose artist way of drawing front facing noses do you like? It's a bit specific, but if you'd like to, you can leave a comment with it. I'm curious about this. In this illustration, the shading or the apps turned out too soft to me and it doesn't look that convincing. I really like how the hair and the fishtail and the purple flowy parts look though. And next up is Venti. While drawing the full body pose here, I was figuring out how bent the upper body can actually be. I watched a anatomy video by Cynic some time ago and remembered he said the upper body and spine can't bend too much, but especially to make the pose flowy here and work with the fishtail, having it slightly curved was important to me. Avoiding tangents where parts of the line art would end at the same place for the lower pose was important to me. I drew Venti's right arm stretched out pretty far to the left because of this. Drawing the arm at a side angle and raised up like in the bigger pose on the left is also something I haven't done a lot and because of this I first looked at a lot of references. I didn't know if I should separate the deltoid muscle from the back muscles using a line or not and after looking up some references I decided to just draw them as one overlapping. While portraying hair in water using flowy shapes is especially important and Venti's hair is rather straight but since he's underwater in these drawings I made his hair be rather wavy. Figuring out the braids and their alignment was fun to me, but I think I could have come up with a nicer position for the braids of the portrait pose. They kinda overlap with the full body pose and at first his upper body seemed too empty to me, so I added a necklace. However, compared to last week's designs, you'll notice that for Zhao and Venti, I didn't add a lot of clothes like sleeves, scarves or armor pieces. Having most no outfit pieces or a lot of them can both work for me, but having no accessories was at all and only changing up the fishtails for each character would have been a bit too boring to me. 
I used a bright turquoise and white color scheme here, which is a bit different and brighter from Venti's in-game design, but it fit to me. I also used a textured pattern brush to add a bit of color variation to his fishtail. For the tattoos I added for Venti, we have some small ones on the side of his stomach and an angel wing tattoo on his back. Venti has pretty tall and wide open eyes compared to most other characters and I tend to make the eyes not as wide open when drawing them since in the past I used to make them far too wide open to me and especially at the inner sides which led to them looking flat. The iris turned out pretty big and too saturated to me. Then I also didn't have a clear outline for it at first while shading which led to the eyes looking a bit creepy. In my opinion, what also contributed to this was the shading for the eyes. It turned out a bit too reddish to me. I like to shade around the eyes to make them appear more 3D and integrate them into the face nicely, but sometimes this can turn out too intense. Especially for bigger eyes, they tend to look better with less shading since their size already makes them stand out, whereas for more narrow eyes, adding more shading can really help with putting more focus on the eyes. I also portrayed the nose similar to what I mentioned for Zhao before, which I changed up after I finished recording the process when exporting the images. I tend to mostly make adjustments to the face as well as some of the fish tails or body parts here. And you'll see these changes in the end when I'm showing the finished illustrations. That's it for Venti and now we move on to a character I've drawn many times already, which is Zingshou. For the full body pose, I at first had him completely facing straight from the back, but I wanted the head to be slightly turned backwards looking at the viewer, and in that position it would have looked unnatural, so I decided to change up the overall rotation of Zing Show and have him slightly turned back. Something that's different from the other illustrations I made for the series is that for the pose in front, the half body pose, the head is bigger than for the profile pose on the upper right. For the half body pose, it was difficult to figure out the arms and the shoulders since they were pulled up. I had a pose reference here, but there the muscles weren't that visible since I wanted to portray lots of anatomical indications with lines to make it match with the other illustrations. I changed up how the body looked slightly. Drawing the headshot pose worked really well. I think it's one of my favorite drawings I've ever made of Thing Show up until now. And drawing his hair was a lot of fun. I enjoyed coming up with his outfit a lot. I included sleeves like he has in game and these sleeves always are difficult to draw for me, but also a good practice. I didn't draw them the same as in-game, but I simplified them a bit. Adding the flowy things at his fishtail, similar to what I also did for Zhao, is something I like a lot. If it's possible, I want to implement similar elements to them, for example for outfit accessories in my regular illustrations. I also added a tattoo on the back and chest for Zing Show. One thing that was bothering me while drawing him were that the irises looked a bit flat. They are probably just not rounded enough to me and I could have made the upper eyelash a bit thicker. Also when you compare the noses you'll see that for the portrait pose it's thinner than for the other ones. And finally as a counterpart to Sing Show, we move on to Chong Yun. In the full body pose I at first went for his upper body being very straight and I had both shoulders pulled up but I adjusted this later on which made the whole pose look more natural and not as stiff. However, his fishtail and how it's bent was something I was still struggling with a lot. Even though I had already drawn seven illustrations like this at this point, figuring out the size of the chest, the shoulders, the neck as well as the head was still difficult to me. But I already noticed how drawing the arms and waist got easier. I also realized that I have a tendency to make the arms pretty long. For example, the right arm for the lower frontal pose was a bit long at first to me. And when I'm saying right, I mean the right arm of Chong Yung. So for the viewer, it's the left arm. I looked at lots of references here and for them, the elbows were around where the waist changes direction and a bit higher than where the belly button is. For this pose, the neck turned out too long to me at first as well, which is also something that often happens when I draw. When it came to adding an outfit for Chong Yung, I was a bit unsure and since I had many ideas, experimented with including something t-shirt-like as well as adding a belt. At first, I probably had too many different patterns and shapes included in the design. Still with the square shapes as well as the more rounded ones that I used in the end. I'm not sure if they work that well together. 
What I also struggled with here was what kind of pattern I wanted to add for the fishtail, as well as figuring out the color, especially for the part where his fishtail is raised for the full body pose and overlaps with his skin color. I wanted the fishtail and his skin to have different values to stand out from each other. In the end, I also decided to remove the t-shirt parts since I noticed that I just thought it was too much to me. For Jung Yoon, the eyes were a bit too far apart on the face at first, in my opinion. Leaving around one eye of space between the eyes is a tip I learned about many years ago, but somehow sometimes I still only notice things like this later on while drawing. I was probably focusing on the anatomy and the outfit design too much. You will also see I had both Sing Show and him hold seashells for their portrait poses. I also made an illustration later on where Chong Yoon puts the necklace on Sing Show. I imagined maybe they'd give them to each other. The characters I drew in this video were also characters I drew last year. In comparing the art, the main difference I see are the improvement in the proportions and anatomy. A year ago, the characters I drew turned out extremely thin and often the arms would be very long. You can see that I had very little anatomy knowledge. I still have a lot to learn here and the anatomy for the new characters still often turned out a bit thin and I'm not sure about anatomical indication lines. But overall, it looks a lot better to me. The faces also improved. And and look less deformed. I added in more accessoire and outfit pieces than last year for Mermaid and I prefer this a lot. Although with really good anatomy skills that alone would probably make illustrations stand out as well without needing many accessoires. I already know that in a year from now I'll probably look back at these illustrations and see a lot more improvements I could make and I can't wait for that. It will mean I will have learned a lot more about anatomy and drawing which is exciting to me. What do you find most difficult about drawing anatomy and which one of the designs do you like the most? You can leave your thoughts about this or anything else in the comments. I hope by me sharing what I personally learned while working on this project or what I wanted to keep in mind can help and inspire you as well. Thanks a lot for watching. If you enjoyed the video and haven't seen last week's one, be sure to check it out. Other than that, have a nice day and bye.